Hello everyone, today I'm just doing a really quick video introducing you to the low nest hens. Um, this is our little mob here. Come to say hello. We're very friendly. We have five hybrid red hens. So these are the um, sort of standard hens used for, I mean pecked up, sorry. Standard hens used for um, egg production uh, in the UK. Um, so we've got five of those and then we've got two of these beautiful light Sussex hens. They're a little bit less friendly because they're, they're new to us and they haven't really got used to their surroundings yet. Um, but they're gradually getting closer and closer to me. We'll see what happens, whether they'll get as friendly as these guys. So uh, we have a very small setup here with just the seven hens. Um, so we provide them with a little shelter and perch um, where we put their food. And I'll just show you what we feed our hens on. So in here we have not much left, but a layers pellet and a corn, uh, which is a mixed corn. And um, we keep that in a sealed bin, very close to the... <laughs> so here's where we, um, we keep our feed. We just keep it in a, as I said, a sealed bin here. Um, you can see uh, the layers pellet and the corn. We um, just mix ours together, really. Two different bags. Um, it gives them a little bit of variety. Um, we also have a um, vitamin supplement that we give them occasionally and also um, it's really important to feed hens grit. So our hens get quite a lot of their grit from um, foraging around. Um, as you can see them here on the driveway they pick up um, sort of the tinier bits of stone within the driveway and on the tarmac which helps them digest the food and also get some um, nice strong eggshells. They're all trying to, here we go, greedy hen. <laughs> Straighten the food bin. Out you come, little lady. So, um, the next thing we have then is their water. So we give them a water feeder, which I clean out and top, off, top up on a regular basis. Gets leaves in it. Um, Every other time that I fill the water up, I put some um, cider vinegar in, which helps uh, combat against parasites in the gut. Um, although I'm not convinced how much they drink from their feeder. Uh, we have a little stream um, here, which they spend a lot of their time uh, foraging around in. Um, so I'm pretty sure they get quite a lot of their water from there as well. Um, then we have the hen house. Okay, it's got six nesting boxes and room for perching. Um, on our hen house, we also have a chicken guard. So this is a timer and it's set to raise and uh, lower the door. Um, this is just for ease really. It means that we don't have to come out first thing in the morning but we still do check them every evening to make sure that we've got all seven of them and they've all got into bed on time um you can get upgrades of this chicken guard that work on uh, daylight rather than a timer but this one's just um timer so at the moment this time of year it's set for half past five and then when it starts to say lighter a little bit later i just change it um, but it's quite a simple system that works and is really helpful. Um, so what's next? Eggs. Um, when we first got our hens, they weren't old enough to lay. Um, and then they all started laying. They were laying um, one a day. So we're getting six eggs um, a day at the time, which was how many we had. Um, it's winter time now. So they're starting to reduce the number of eggs they're laying. Um, we're getting four a day, roughly, and I think that's from our five hybrids. Um, I believe at least one of them is laying away somewhere that we haven't found yet. So I think they probably are all laying, um, but annoyingly, 
one of them likes to find what we call naughty nests and lays eggs wherever she fancies. So hopefully we'll find it at some point. The two light Sussexes, um, I don't think they're laying yet. So we'll look forward to getting some eggs from them once the weather warms up and once they're a little bit more settled in their environment. But as you can see, they've landed on their feet in a very natural environment, very free range, enjoying um, scratching under some trees. So recent research into hens has discovered that their natural environment would actually be in um, forests and they would really enjoy um, pecking around the base of the trees. And um, a few more of the free range um, egg farms are starting to um, add this into their environment. But I can certainly tell you from our experience, they absolutely love the base of the trees. Uh, we've got quite a few trees in our garden, as you can see. The other thing our hens really, really love is hanging out with the local sheep. So we've got some tups in our field at the moment and every time the farmer comes up to feed them, the hens will be straight out of our garden, straight over that fence and be pecking around the sheep feeder, pecking around the sheep's feet. Um, they're not really bothered by them. Um, so it works out quite well and it's quite nice really to see the different animals socializing together and pecking around each other. So that's our hens at Low Nest. You can buy eggs from the top of our drive. Uh, at the moment, we are just putting up sort of one box a day, fresh eggs, um, and I put them up um, each day. And people have been pretty good actually with the honesty box with uh, putting their money in. We haven't lost any yet. We'll see how it goes. Um, but if you have any questions, obviously let us know. We're fairly new to hen keeping, so um, this is our, our first little clutch of hens. Uh, but we're happy to answer any questions about our setup and how we're doing so far. So hit subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow any future videos. Thank you.